In this video, I will reveal the best strategy that you can use with the Bollinger Bands Indicator. So first of all, we all know that it's very important to identify trends on the market. However, if you've been trading for a while, you would know that trends don't usually move in a straight line like this. Most trends actually look like this, where prices are forming higher highs and pullbacks. The problem is, these pullbacks can often lead to false signals. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're using a normal trend indicator such as the 20 EMA. If the trends are moving in a straight line like this, then the 20 EMA gave a perfect signal. However, if the trend has pullbacks like this, it can be a huge problem because it gave so many false signals. So that is why the Bollinger Bands is a better indicator because it can identify the direction of a trend while also taking these pullbacks into consideration. Hence, it can give you less false signals. The Bollinger Bands is a very simple to use indicator. It consists of three parts, a 20 period simple moving average in the middle, and two standard deviation lines above and below it. The middle line shows the overall direction of the market. If the line is heading upwards, meaning that the market is on an uptrend. And if the line is heading downwards, meaning that the market is on a downtrend. The two standard deviation bands is used to detect the volatility of the market. If the bands are contracting or close together, it means that the market is on a low volatility period. And if the bands are expanding from each other, meaning that the market is on a high volatility period. So a common mistake that I see traders make is that they use the Bollinger Bands as an overbought and oversold indicator. So they sell when the price hits the upper bands and buy when the price hits the lower bands. Now let me explain why it's a bad idea to use this strategy. So in this chart, notice that the middle line is heading upwards meaning that the market is on an uptrend. Now, we can see that the price broke above the upper bands. So, if you took a short position here, let's see what happens. The price instead pushes further to the upside and you would lose your money. Because, if you are using the indicator as an overbought and oversold signals, you are essentially trading against a trend, which is not a good idea. So. After testing the Bollinger Bands indicator multiple times, I actually found the most effective strategy that you can use. And the strategy is called the Bollinger Band Squeeze. So this strategy is based on predicting price breakouts using volatility. What you need to understand is that volatility of the market is constantly changing from low to high and vice versa. Meaning that if the market is on a low volatility period like this, Eventually, volatility will start to pick up in the future which can lead to big price movements and breakouts. So now, it's our job to find these low volatility markets and predict when a breakout might happen and which direction will it be. This is how you do it. First, you need to find a market that is on a range. You can identify this by looking at the middle SMA line. The line needs to be relatively flat like this. However, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat. Next, the two bands must be close to each other. I like to make my job easier by using an indicator called the BBW, or also known as the Bollinger Bands Width. This indicator shows how far apart the bands are. If the BBW is low, meaning that the gap between the two lines are close, and if it's high, meaning that the gap is further apart. Note that the two indicators needs to have the same settings for it to work. Next, to predict the price breakout, you need to wait for the standard deviation lines to start expanding, which can also be identified by the rising of the BBW. So this means that there's an increase in volatility and a breakout is likely occurring. So our next job is to predict the direction of that breakout. And the way you do that is by using price action. Let me give you an example. So in this chart, 
we can spot a flat SMA, meaning that the market is on a range. And the two bands are contracting, which is also shown by a low BBW. Next, you can see that the bands are starting to expand, which can also be seen by the BBW rising. Next, we can see that four red candles were formed. One of them closed outside the lower bands. So based on the price action, the breakout is more likely going to happen to the downside. So this is a good opportunity to take a sell position. Let's look at another example. In this chart, we can see that the market is on a range as shown by the flat SMA. And the gap between the two bands are close, which are also represented by a low BBW. Next, you can see that the bands are starting to expand, which can also be seen by the rising BBW. Then, we can see three green candles broke out of the upper line. So based on the price action, the breakout is more likely happening to the upside. So this is a good opportunity to take a buy position. But remember, just because a candle broke out doesn't mean you automatically take a position you need to wait for signs of rising volatility. Another indicator that can help me confirm the direction of the breakout is the money flow index. This is how you do it. First, you need to change the indicator value to both 50. So now you have a single line in the middle. Next, if the green line crosses above the middle line, it indicates that it's a bullish signal. and. If the green line crosses below the middle line, it indicates that it's a bearish signal. So now, let's combine this with the breakout strategy that I just taught you. Here's the pound dollar, and as you can see, the market is on a range, as shown by the flat SMA, and the bands are still contracting. Next, you can see that the bands are starting to expand, and the BBW is rising, and down here, you can see that the MFI crosses above the middle line, which means that it's a bullish signal. Plus, a big green candle broke out of the upper standard deviation line. So all these signals confirm that the breakout is more likely going to happen to the upside. So this is a good opportunity to take a buy position. Let's look at another example. Here's the dollar yen, and as you can see, the SMA is moving in a flat direction indicating that the market is on a range. Next, you can see that the bands are starting to expand, which is also signaled by the BBW rising. And over here, we can see that the money flow index crosses below the middle line, which indicates a bearish signal. And multiple red candles were formed. One of them closed below the lower bands. So based on the price action analysis, the breakout is more likely happening to the downside. So this is a good opportunity to take a sell position. So now, I'm going to teach you a really effective exit strategy that you can use to maximize your profits using the Bollinger Bands indicator. So let's say you took a sell position here. And what you want to do is let your trades run until a candle breaks out of the middle SMA line. If the candle broke out like this, you close your position. Let's see this one more time in another chart. Let's say you took a long position here. So you want to close your trade once the price broke below the middle SMA line. Notice how by using this exit strategy, you were able to close your trade early and still retained the majority of your profits. So I just revealed to you the best strategy that you can use with the Bollinger Bands indicator. Now, all I ask for in return is for you to invest 2 seconds of your time into liking the video and subscribe to the channel. It literally takes only 2 clicks but it means a lot to me. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.